Welcome to Africa. There's no other place on the planet quite like it. Last week, we kicked off our scenic Victoria Falls and East Africa adventure in Zimbabwe, soaking in the majesty of the falls and the might of the Zambezi. This week, it's Kenya's turn to wow us with the legendary Masai Mara, the beauty of Lake Nakuru, and a glorious baby elephant encounter. The Masai Mara is a massive hunk of lush but lashed landscape grilled by the equator and hammered by the hooves of over two million zebra, gazelle and wildebeest during what's known as the Great Migration. It's a peak hour style manic mangle of mammal stampeding its way past some of the animal kingdom's most primed and precise killers like the lion, the leopard and the cheetah. It's the quick or the dead out here. With its breathtaking vistas, endless plains and plentiful wildlife, the Masai Mara National Reserve is the ultimate African cliché brought to life. And that, way off there to the left, yeah, that's, that's wildebeest. That's wildebeest. That's a herd of wildebeest. That's a herd of wildebeest. There must be thousands there. The Great Migration, traditionally July to October, is when around two million wildebeest crossed the Great Mara River from the Serengeti in Tanzania into Kenya and is the best time for viewing hordes of zebra and wildebeest. This is where all the wildebeest cross. This is just one of the crossing points. There's just about uh, seven or so different crossing points. So that's obviously why the crocodile on the riverbank there, vultures in the trees, exactly. they're just waiting for the, for the migration. To, they're waiting to for come. the migration to come and uh, also for the dead body, the bodies that will get washed down as they cross upstream. But any time of year, this is home to all of the big five and the draw card predators. Oh, yeah, cheetah. Two. Now, three, I can see. Yeah, they're actually five. Um, yeah, this is a coalition of five males that we like to call the first five. So they don't usually sort of gather in a bunch like that? No, usually they, they're found solitary or uh, one with a sibling or a mother and cubs. These are five males that have come together, teamed up, to form a stronger coalition for better and successful hunting. Right, so they, they, they know how to organize themselves for a kill, do they? They do, they actually have a leader. They're amazingly camouflaged, aren't they? You can only just pick them up. The most thrilling part of an African safari is that you never know what encounters you may experience. King of the jungle and his lady friend, Yes, this is a mating pair, uh, which we locally call honeymooners. Honeymooners. So during this time, they mate uh, at least every, on average, every 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes. No wonder they're plum tuckered out. Oh, here he goes. So the mating takes uh, place during the five days that she's on estrus. Right. And in those five days, every 15 or so minutes, uh, they have to mate. And this ensures that the female has, has every chance of getting pregnant. Every yeah. chance of getting pregnant. Uh, yes. He's done. And he's proud of himself. <laughs> oh, look at him. Yeah. He's done his work. King of the jungle once more. <laughs> well done, son. Perfectly positioned to make the most of your Mara experience is the Sarova Mara Game Camp, located in the heart of the nature reserve. We have sugarcane, we have coffee tree, we have mango tree. Set in the grounds of Sarova's flourishing herb and veggie garden, an African cooking class is also on the scenic menu as a free choice option. So today we are going to make ugali. Ugali? Yeah, ugali, it's African corn. It's African corn. Yeah. Does everyone know how to cook ugali? Yes. Why? Especially the ladies. Why? Because if you can't cook nice ugali, your husband will chase you out. He'll chase you out? Yeah. If you can't cook ugali? Yeah, if you are not qualified for making ugali, <laughs> you can't get married. <laughs> really? How do you know when it's ready? When your ugali is ready, you take a small portion, you throw it on the wall. 
But here, because we don't have the wall with the tree, just throw it on the, on the tree. Ah. Yes, it's ready. Yeah. What's the wall at home look like? <laughs> With the staple dish made, head chef Gilbert, Damaris and I whip up a chicken curry concoction and a little of the local kale known here as Sukumawiki. And voila, lunch fit for an African king. And keeping with tradition, it's strictly hands only. Mm, beautiful. I told you. Great combination. Yeah, it's nice. Tad messy for me, but 